Hey guys, and welcome to Garage Time with David. Uh, in my last video, I got some questions about this router um, wing that I installed in my Delta 36725T2 table saw. Um, so I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a walk around. Um, I did not film any of the assembling of this uh, router wing, um, but it's fairly simple, so I figured I'd just kind of give you guys the highlights so if you wanted to uh, put one of these together it would be easy enough for you to do on your own. So to start out with the wing is 27 inches deep by exactly 18 inches wide. Um, uh, the top of it is just 3 quarter inch MDF that I did a slight chamfer on uh, of all four edges and then um, I sealed it with shellac so that hopefully, you know, if something spills on it, it wouldn't get too uh, waterlogged. Um, it's held up fairly well. It's I've had this for, I don't know, probably about a year now with, you know, moderate um, hobbyist use and, and it's held up fairly well. Uh, so the router lift that I have here is just a Jessam. Um, it's like their, their most basic router lift. Uh, and inside there I have one of the DeWalt um, corded uh, routers. I think it's the like 618 or something. I'll put it up on the, on the screen. So if we take a look underneath, you can see that the frame is just half inch plywood. Um, held together with pocket screws and glue, basically. Um, and the side here, this is where it's mounted to the fence of the table saw, which keeps it fairly secure. Um, the walls that I put together are two and a half inches tall. Um, that's about all there is to that. So over here we've got, you can see this Rubbermaid container that I use for uh, dust collection. So this guy is a uh, gasket sealed. Um, actually, I don't think it's Rubbermaid. I think it's Sterilite. Uh, gasket seal sealed container that you can see barely fits the router when it's fully retracted. There's maybe a half inch of space down there, but it does fit. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, I, at some point I'd like to build out like an actual cabinet here. Um, but this was, I don't know, 10 bucks at Home Depot or Target, something like that. Uh, and you know, it's fairly easy to cut with either, um, an oscillating multi-tool or, you know, you can drill it easily. Um, so it works for my purposes for now. Uh, so what I did was I... Um, let me take this box off real quick so you can see I took the top of it and then I just uh, used a jigsaw to cut out the middle section and then I used some silicone adhesive to uh, seal the top edge and then um, you know it's easy enough to just take this box latches to connect it up and then it makes a pretty decent seal. Um, I have a four inch dust port down here that's currently blocked off but um, I can connect my dust collector hose up to that and uh, on the back side I have a two and a half inch hose that comes from the back side of the box and then I can connect that up to my router fence here. Um, so that way I can have above and below dust collection. So speaking of the fence, it's fairly simple construction. Um, I have this mounted directly to my tabletop fence. So as, as, as my table saw fence moves, the fence is just pulled along with it. So in total, the fence is... 
about three and three quarter inches wide. Um, actually, let me remeasure that. Yeah, just, just shy of three and three quarter inches wide. Um, so I just cut a bunch of these little trapezoidal pieces. Uh, the height of the fence is three and three quarter inches. Um, I have this uh, T-track that I keep along the top so that if I want to use um, some kind of stop or you know a feather board or something like that, it's really easy to just screw uh, an accessory into the T-track. Um, and the fence also has these little pockets which are useful for t storing tools like I keep this little uh, adjuster, um, uh, what's it called, Allen key uh, in there. And then I also keep some router bits that I only use here at the router, router table. So I've got some roundovers and stuff like that. I should organize that a little bit better, but it is what it is. Um, so, as you can see, I've got integrated dust collection. I've got this acrylic sheet here that has um, uh, silicone sealing it so that uh, to hopefully keep some of the suction power. And then on that side, I've got, I think this is a one and a half Schedule 40 PVC. Um, if I need to adjust the width of the fence, I just use this tool. And both of these can move in and out a little bit because I have in the back here, I routed a, a recess where I can stick a quarter 20 um, hex nut so that you know, I can tighten up against that. And that works pretty well. Um, Okay, so how I attached it to the table saw fence. Uh, so my table saw came with one of these aluminum extruded um, side pieces, I guess, on, on each side. Um, so I just took the one off on the right side and behind it, if I move this, this section right here is, I think, just a two inch, yeah, two inch, um, square metal uh, steel tube um, with a couple of holes cut in it so that you can slide the extruded aluminum so here is the extruded aluminum piece that that used to be on this side I just removed this and uh, where there was a bolt that would slide there was i guess three bolts that would slide into this channel that would keep the extruded extruded aluminum stuck to this uh, square bar um, but as you can see i chiseled out some cutouts right here and then there's one in the middle and then there's one way on the end and uh, that way it just permanently affixes my my fence to it and if I need to, I can always take these off because um, when you when you take the fence off, there's uh, some access holes underneath on the bottom side, so you can remove the the nuts that affix <clears throat> my router fence to it. If I ever decide to change it up in the future, um, but it keeps it really solid on the fence on the table saw fence. I mean, I'm really yanking on it and it's barely moving. Uh, one thing I should have double checked before making the fence is um, I thought that these um, bolt holes in the metal part, in the steel part, were going to be centered relative to the depth of the table. If you look here, they're actually not. They're off by a little bit. So when I pull my router uh, fence all the way to where the bit comes out it's like off by 
I don't know, a quarter or three eighths of an inch. It's not quite centered, which I would have preferred. Um, but it's not a huge deal as long as I'm not using a massive bit in there, um, which I can't really do with this router anyway. So it gets the job done. And then one last thing I've done is I've got, I've got tool storage here on the front face. Um, this is the wrench that I used to change bits in my um, router. This helps me pop off the, the little plate that comes with the Jessam uh, router lifts. And this raises and lowers the bit. I'm putting it in here. And this guy um, has these little metal dowels and I just stuck a couple magnets in there so that I can just snap it right there which works fairly well, um, but occasionally I'll brush up against it and it'll just like pop off. Um, so you do have to watch out for that a little bit, but uh, in general, works fairly well. Um, and then this is uh, just a normal like 120 um, on off switch that I got off of Amazon paddle switch. So press this, turns that right on, and turns it off. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you guys have any more other questions, feel free to drop a comment and, um, yeah, I'll see you next time.